Located in the Himalayas of South Asia, Bhutan is a small isolated kingdom increasingly being known for its unique development philosophy of gross national happiness. It is home to some of the mighty snow-capped Himalayan mountains, including Mount Gunkarfinsum, the world's highest unclimbed mountain. Bhutan is steeped in myths and legends and epitomizes the exotic and the unexplained. The lush green landscape dotted with colorful prayer flags, stupas, temples and monasteries and spectacular fortresses called zongs beckons ardent travelers to the mystical land of the Thunder Dragon. Sparkling glacier rivers meander through secluded gorges and wide fertile valleys that flow down to the major river basins of India to the south. Bhutan is a living canvas of rich architecture, a fine mix of engineering brilliance and aesthetics of forms and shapes and traditional paintings abundantly showcased in fortresses on hillocks or monasteries on the edges of cliffs. As the last and the only country to practice the tantric Mahayana form of Buddhism, the Bhutanese are by nature deeply spiritual, kind and compassionate people and every day you can see people of all ages spend their time circumambulating temples, praying for all sentient beings. Mysticism meets reality in Bhutan and myths and legends are recorded history. Bhutan's national animal, the Takin, is believed to be created magically by the Tibetan Lama Drukpa Kinle in the late 15th century with the skeletons of a goat and a cow. And even today, the Takin indeed appears to have the head of a goat and the body of a cow. Lama Drukpa Kinle left a very strong legacy in Bhutan and the only fertility temple in Bhutan located about two hours' drive from the capital Thimphu, is one of the most popular temples in the country. Childless people from all over the world come to receive blessings from the temple and there are amazing stories of their wishes being fulfilled. People who visit the temple are blessed with a large wooden phallus, which is symbolic of Lama Drukpa Kinle. Just like the Takin, Bhutan is also a natural paradise and home to some of the most exotic and endangered species of both flora and fauna, like the Bhutan's Ludlow swallowtail butterfly that was rediscovered in 2010 and is endemic only to Bhutan. The most popular annual festival in Bhutan is called the Techu, where exotic mask dances are performed. Each dance has its own spiritual meaning and most dances celebrate the triumph of good over evil. It is the single festival that attracts the most number of tourists to Bhutan. From rural villages to bustling towns, modernization is gradually transforming the country. Yet, Bhutan is in no hurry. The capital city, Thimphu, with a population of about 100,000, is one of the last cities in the world without traffic lights where the traffic is still managed by traffic police with graceful hand signals. In recent times, Bhutan has featured among the top 20 friendliest countries of the world, apart from being branded as a hotspot tourist destination for many years in a row. It has recently declared to become 100% organic, and Bhutan's constitution mandates that it should have at least 60% of its land area under forest cover for all times to come, and today it has 80% of its land area as forests. It is no wonder that Bhutan is listed as one of the 10 biological hotspots in the world. In Bhutan, you can breathe clean Himalayan virgin air, literally stand over the clouds and meet people who always smile at you. Happiness is indeed a place.